So this is the 34th year of the Boston Freedom Rally. And our work is still not done, folks. As he said, I'm Dr. Uma Danabalan, and in 2010, I could still hear my mother say, they're using ganja. I knew what that word was. I beelined it to the bedroom, and she was watching a TV program about how cannabis was being used in Israel for COPD, asthma, lung cancer, and PTSD did not compute to me. I never knew that cannabis was used and was being used for these conditions. I had only been taught about the drug abuse of this plant. And at that time, I was working for the largest cleanup site for plutonium in the state of Washington. There was two bombs dropped in Japan. One was a plutonium bomb that was made at the Washington, in Washington state. I was working there as a physician, as a family doctor, as an occupation and environmental medicine physician specialized in heavy metals and also a medical review officer. I was doing the drug testing and if you tested positive for this chemical known as THC, the chemical, the psychoactive chemical in cannabis, you had the potential of losing your job, your family, your livelihood, and even prison. Today, I have been fighting for this plant. Truly, my mission is to change the stigma regarding cannabis and for everybody in the world to know about the endocannabinoid system. And that's my mission and I do it through education. My mother was dying of an illness known as idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a fancy term for we don't know what caused your lung disease. It didn't make sense to me that you would smoke weed, use cannabis to help you to breathe and help you to think. I started to learn. I never, ever got to use this plant for my mother. She died in January 7th of 2012. I too suffer with PTS. I dropped the D. I'm no disease, I ain't no disorder. It's post-traumatic strength, folks. That's what we have to look at as. We ain't no diseases. And today, the world, the world is suffering from post-traumatic stress, and it could be strength. We've all gone through COVID. And as Andrew mentioned, I didn't lose one patient to the COVID because they were using cannabis. And what we know is that cannabis can be used for prevention, maintenance, and for treatment of illnesses. What I did not know with all my years of education, as I said, I'm a family doctor, an occupation environmental medicine physician, Harvard trained, board certified, certified in degrees, and never ever learned about the endocannabinoid system. What we learn is that the endocannabinoid system is a mere 600 years old. It's evolved from a sea squirt to what we have in humans today. It's involved with every system in the body. That's why this one plant works for so many different conditions. It seems like it's a panacea, but it's not. It should not be the last resort. It should be the, the first line option. And I'm gonna repeat that. Cannabis should be a first line option and not the last resort. Does everybody hear me clear and loud? Yes. What we still have is people pacing prison, losing their jobs, losing their children, because we still don't have legalization throughout the United States. We don't have it throughout the world. I have been speaking about this plant as a global solution. What we want people to understand is that the endocannabinoid system's function is for balance, homeostasis. It helps you keep at ease. If 
you're not at ease. You are at dis-ease. Dis-ease. Inflammation. Dermatitis. Arthritis. Carditis. Some type of itis. And also cancers. We have cancers in children and in the elderly. And I truly believe when we hear cancer, when we hear cancer, cannabis must be, must be a part of the treatment protocol. There's enough research that we know, and we know that it works for many, many conditions. What I want people to understand is that we're all not going to be here. No matter who you are, death is always an eventuality. We all have a birth date. We will all have a date that we die. But we want to die with dignity and leave our family members with hope. And that's what this plant is about to me. This plant is about hope and giving people choices. Cannabis must be a choice. It's a safer alternative to opioids and narcotics and alcohol and nicotine. The research is there. Look it up. Look into PubMed.gov. Look at all the research articles, thousands and thousands of articles published not only in the United States but throughout the world. We all, all of us mammals have a endocannabinoid system and it's through education that we must mandate, and I'm going to use that word boldly, mandate. We put the word medical cannabis and we forgot to educate the medical community. When is your doctor know about the endocannabinoid system? How many of you have asked your doctor about cannabis? How many of you can openly discuss the fact that you want to use cannabis or are using it for your conditions? Can you boldly talk about it? And the answer is sometimes no. Even today, 2023. So I want you guys to remember three words. Educate, embrace, and empower. And that's what the mask can and all of the people here. Go to the educational booth, visit the booths, understand that cannabis is a plant that's been around for thousands of years. I'm originally from India. Ayurvedic medicine, Ayu means life, Veda means knowledge, and knowledge is power, and that's what we're talking about today. We want people to know that your children should have this option. I certify patients. My youngest patient is one. We have patients with autism, with cancers, with seizures, and conditions that they should have this as an option and be able to give them this, and it is a solution. So you will be hearing about a nonprofit, which will be called CARES, which means choices, alternatives, research, education, and solutions, and that's what this plant can be. Dr. Uma says the plant is for five Ps. Remember this, it's for people. All of us, all over the world. It's for our pets. It's for the produce, the animals that we eat, the animals that we have in our homes. If they could be fed hemp, they would be healthier. They would not have the inflammation. And when we consume it, we would not have the inflammation. It's for this planet. If this planet, if we could plant this plant, we talk about climate change. This is a solution. It can absorb it. It can actually absorb the radiation, the chemical damage, and it doesn't need any pesticides, minimal amount of water. The planet could be better. It's for peace. Please, please legalize this plant so we can get rid of the prisoners, empty the prisons from all the people for this plant. Please, the prisoners must be emptied everywhere. Please. We have people, their families separated because of this plant in prison. It's time to end prohibition altogether in prison. And it's for profit. Profit. 
No amount of money in the world can give you your health and wellness. No amount of money can give you what you need in a quality of life. And this plant can give jobs throughout the world, and that's the profit. So Dr. Uma says the five Ps. Please take this message wherever you go. It's for people, for pets, for the planet, for peace, and for profit. That's what the plant is for. Hear me loud and clear today. Please share the message. Please understand that we all have an endocannabinoid system, and we need to deschedule. I want to be very clear on this. We need to deschedule this plant. Three facts everybody needs to know. Nobody, nobody in the whole world has ever, ever died from an overdose from a cannabis plant because, because it does not stop your heart from beating. It does not stop you from breathing. That is why nobody in the whole world has ever died from this plant. Fact number one. Fact number two. Doctors had the liberty to prescribe, prescribe this medicine. Today, doctors, we are not allowed to prescribe it. We can make a recommendation to our patients to have this legally in their possession. It was prescribed and it was in the United States Pharmacopeia from 1850 to 1942. And guess what, folks? It was used for opioid addiction. It was used for alcoholism. It was used for chronic pain, not the cause of addiction, not the cause of alcoholism, but the treatment of, in the pharmacopoeia, till at least 420, to celebrate with all of you. So please, open your hearts. You don't have to use this medicine, but you know somebody. You know somebody that can benefit from it. Open your minds, because we all, we all have an endocannabinoid system. This will open doors for better communications. It's not for everybody, folks, I wanna say that too. There is lots of addiction going on there, abuse and addiction, and I want people to be aware of this. This plant is not to be replaced for your alcohol and other abuse. So please understand that this plant is for conscious use. Use it appropriately. Dr. Uma says, safety first, do no harm. That's my message to you guys. And remember, reach one, teach 10. Whatever information you learn, please share it. Educate, embrace, and empower. Hashtag that today, folks. Love you. Thank you.